here in Monash, uh, our scientists, uh, physicists and astronomers work with uh, scientists and collaborate with scientists from uh, institutes and universities all over the world. And some of our students, uh, when they do their uh, honours or PhD, even undergraduate students, have sometimes chance to um, be part of that collaboration too. So here we are with Katie Okoto, who is our PhD student in astronomy and astrophysics. And she's doing her PhD jointly with Monash and Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Boston, USA. So Katie, how are you enjoying working at Harvard Smithsonian? I really like it. It's like, it's kind of one of these most amazing places where all the, everybody wants to come to um, CFA. It kind of like, how can I describe it in a nice way? It's like a, the pinnacle, I guess, of astrophysics, especially in the US. So every week there is multiple uh, talks of all different types of astrophysics that you know, I've never thought or even you know, considered were a part of it. And so you get such an amazing um, distribution of interesting science that you get to look at. Also, it's incredibly international. Like in my office that I um, have there, you know, you sit in the, you're sitting your, at your desk and all of a sudden you hear like 50 different languages kind of be talking, um, you know, and it's always moving. There's always people coming in and, um, and talking about different uh, things and just um, wanting to come and visit. And that's one of the really nice things. Um, and it also allows pe people in the public are really interested because they're always so super excited about astronomy and astrophysics because of, you know, we have the advantage, we have those beautiful pictures we see um, that are advertised and so always it's uh, this amazing place of excitement. And My first postdoc was at Harvard Smithsonian and this is where the collaboration and, and Katie's um, project came, came about. Um, as, as Katie mentioned, Harvard Smithsonian is one of the biggest places, I think they have about 300 astronomers and astrophysicists covering all the areas of astrophysics and because it's a very dynamic place you have people coming all the time. How did you feel that the PhD that you started doing um, in Monash then sort of prepared you or um, enabled you to catch up on what was going there? Um, I think the PhD here actually gave me a really good basis. I started off more in particle physics and so the the I started in more theory and then slowly progressed to using that theory to go more into um, observational stuff and trying to match it together and I think it gave me the perfect basis to enter into a field that I didn't know as much as I like because I did mostly physics in undergraduate but um, the people here were very helpful in making sure that you know when I didn't know the astronomy or anything like that that I could go and ask about like oh what does that mean or what's this and so they really gave me the perfect basis to start in something that I didn't expect to start in. So, so Katie did an amazing job, she, um, she did undergraduate in physics, we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> that in a minute, but she started her project um, in astroparticle sort of studying this mysterious signature that, that might be a sign of uh, dark matter and um, at Monash, we do PhD all by research. In some other institutions, especially in the US, they, they have to do some coursework as well. But she felt that she didn't, wanted more. And she paused <laughs> her PhD to go and she got a scholarship for yet another prestigious and, and very influential institution, per Perimeter Institute in Canada. Yep. So she'd done a master's degree there, very intense master's degree for a, for a year. So she paused her PhD to get a bit more theoretical experience. How was that? It was intense, that's the perfect way to describe it, um, but it was really good and unfortunately I guess in Australia we're a bit small so we don't get that full breadth of people but also the perimeter has this advantage that it is you know where everybody wants to go so they have the resources to do this but you know I studied multiple subjects we did an equivalent of a semester's a week of work in three weeks and so we did that with three different subjects at a time so you know you didn't get to sleep much but it was a lot of fun we studied things from you know quantum field theory to string theory you know you name the most exciting thing that you're interested in at the moment in theoretical physics and we studied it and that was really cool it gave me a really nice overview of everything and also allowed me to go into some of the details that I was more excited about like particle physics and stuff like this um, but it was a great experience I really enjoyed it it was just a long very intense period of my life <laughs> so, but definitely I definitely suggest people if they get the opportunity to at least try to do 
some form of more in-depth theory because it gives you really a good basis for really you know transposing into anything else right because even though you might not use the details associated with all oh, the string theory but the mathematics that you get from that real and the analytical ability actually really supports you in all different aspects right um, so then as we said with you kind of started in particle physics but it was sort of more astroparticle but it was dealing yeah. with dark matter and things like that um, what then made that switch from being sort of astroparticle into going more into astronomy now you now you study supernova remnants and neutron stars so you're more sort of high energy astrophysics now yeah but I still do particle physics um, the reason why I decided to kind of focus more is that particle physics um, you know everybody knew as the LHC and so you have a lot of people working on this really big collaboration and experiment already and so everybody is after that data and so and it's very hard you know they spend a lot of effort you know trying to find that Higgs particle and luckily you know after what 50 years of whatever work went into it they found it but astronomy has this really great thing is that where it's so data rich right it allows so many opportunities to discover things that you know I can't even think of and I'm sure you know we'll be going through all the data multiple generations from now and so this is why I decided to kind of go more into a bit more of a data related thing so I could make sure that the, any theories or anything that we did in the theory side um, could actually be supported with the proper data um, and actually have the proper um, support necessary to make sure that a theory works and stuff. And to step back yeah. to undergraduate um, <laughs> Why did you choose, choose in the first place to study physics? Actually, funny enough, when I first started, I, so I st went from a science degree and I was kind of under, decided in my high school what I wanted to do. I just really liked maths, I liked science, I kind of liked playing with stuff and discovering about why things work. And then I got into my first year of, of science and I, you know, I was doing pretty well, at, I was doing chemistry, mathematics, I did first year astrophysics and I also did physics. And you know, every subject apart from physics I, um, I did really well with, but physics, I just couldn't get it, couldn't get it. And it was one of those challenges, the fact that it was challenging me and that I spent 80% of my time studying for it, kind of like kept me going. I wanted to try to conquer it. And then, you know, so I kept going through it, going through it and, you know, going, oh, I'm not getting, I'm not understanding. And then like just one day it all clicked for me. And I was just like, wow, this is actually really cool that I can, you know, study things that, you know, we're sitting here in nature, right? And I can, discover you know things about light through physics I can discover things about you know materials and different structures and stuff like this but you know if you asked me at the start of my first year what I am I going to do physics I probably wouldn't go oh my god it's so hard but then that chat because it was challenging me and I didn't it didn't come so easily to me kind of where made me curious about it and that's why I continued on to into it because it really was exciting that's great. It's, it's very unusual. And look where you now. <laughs> yeah. You're the master of physics <laughs> in all areas. Well, Maybe. <laughs> thank you so much for this interview. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>